back again students to another video lesson. So for our next lesson in grade 9 mathematics, quarter 1, week 1. So we'll have solving quadratic equations by extracting the square roots. If you still remember, our first lesson is about the illustration of quadratic equations. So in here, there are four different ways on how to solve quadratic equations. Kaya lang, unahin muna natin is yung method ng extracting the square roots. So for our lesson objective, we have solving quadratic equations by extracting the square roots. So kung familiar kayo sa mga square roots, like for example, square root of 1, square root of 4, square root of 100, uh, is somehow connected siya. So before we start our discussion, let's have a review. So our first review is about solving linear equations. So linear equation, when we say linear equation, the degree is 1. The highest degree is 1. So let's start. Number 1, we have x plus 6 equals 0. So ito lang yung kumatatandaan nyo is find the value of x. So for number 1, we have x plus 6 equals 0. Paano yun? So to solve this one, we have to uh, subtract 6 from both sides. That will become x plus 6 minus 6 equals negative 6. So, why do we need to subtract 6 from both sides? So, para, ang matira na lang dito sa left side is yung variable x. Now, x and then 6 minus 6 is 0. Therefore, the value of x is negative 6. Now, to check, negative 6 plus 6 equals 0. So, ito yung tamang way na pag-check niya. So, i-substitute lang natin yung negative 6 in place of x. So, negative 6 plus 6 is 0. Next, we have 3x minus 7 equals 26. So, kung kanina nag-subtract tayo ng number to both sides, ngayon naman, mag add tayo. So, it will become 3x minus 7 plus 7 equals 26 plus 7. Now, what is negative 7 plus 7? That is 0. So, th this will be uh, cancelled. So, the answer only is 3x. And then, equals 26 plus 7, that is 33. And then, we divide 3 to both sides. So, para makancel yung numerical coefficients ng x. So, 33 divided by 3 is 11. So, let's check. 3 times the value of x, that is 11, that is 33. And then 33 minus 7 is equal to 26. Therefore, our value of x, which is 11, is correct. So for our next review, we have solved the for the square roots of the following numbers. So for example, number 1, square root of 25. Think of a number na kapag ni-raise natin siya sa 2, will give a product of 25. And that is... 5. So, if we check, 5 squared is equal to 5 times 5. And 5 times 5 is equal to 25. Next, square root of 48. So, square root of 48 is not a perfect square. Pero meron siyang factor na perfect square. And that is 16. So, we can write it as 16 times 3. So, where, do we, where did we get 3? 48 divided by 16 is 3. So, and then we struck 16. Square root of 16 is 4. So, the answer is 4 square root of 3. So, yung 3, since hindi siya perfect square, may iiwan siya dun sa loob ng uh, square root symbol. So, if we check, uh, 4 square root of 3 square, the answer is uh, 4 squared, and that is 16. And then, square root of 3 raised to 2, magiging... 3 lang siya. So, kapag ang square root of 3, we multiply sa sarili niya, that will become 3. Mawawala yung radical symbol. And 16 times 3 is equal to 48. Next, square root of 196 is 14. So, 14 squared is equal to 14 times 14. Multiply niyo man siya you will get a product of 196. And then the last one, we have square root of negative 81. So, we cannot say that square root of negative 81 is positive 
9, it's because if we square positive 9, the answer is 81. Hindi rin siya pwedeng maging negative 9 because kapag ang negative 9, i-raise natin sa 2, the answer is positive 81. Therefore, we cannot extract a negative square root. Kahit anong ano pa yan, square root pa siya, basta negative siya, hindi po siya, po siya natin pwedeng i-extract. So, solving quadratic equations by extracting the square roots. So, quadratic equations that can be written in the form of x squared equals k can be solved by applying the fo following properties. So, for the first property we have, if k is greater than 0, then x squared equals k has two real roots or solutions. x is equal to positive negative square root of k. So, yung k na sinasabi ko dito is a real number. Okay? Na greater than 0. So, for our next property, we have, if k is equal to 0, then x squared equals k has one real solution or root. And that is x equals 0. So, if we extract the square root of 0, of course, the answer is 0. So, may isa lang yung solution na meron tayo doon. And then, the last property, if k is less than 0, then x squared equals k has no real solutions or roots. So, k is less than 0. So, yung mga numbers or integers na less than 0 is mga negative integers. So, we cannot extract negative integers. So, kung ganun, it has no real solutions or root. Like, for example, yung kanina, yung neg uh, square root of negative 81. So, kung isolve natin siya using uh, extracting the square root, it has no real solutions or roots. So, let's have example number 1. What are the roots of x squared is equal to 49? So, ang step niya, x squared is equal to 49, and then we extract both sides. So, para mawala yung uh, exponent na 2. So, what is square root of x squared? That is x. And then, square root of 49 is positive negative 7. So, dalawa ang roots po ng ating given equation. To check, Using the given equation, x squared is equal to 49, isa substitute natin yung dalawang roots para ma-verify natin kung tama ba yung sagot nila. Sagot. So, let's have x is equal to positive 7. So, 7 raised to 2 is equal to 49. So, what is 7 squared? That is 49. So, 49 is equal to 49. Next, x is equal to negative 7. So, that is negative 7 squared is equal to 49. If we raise negative 7 to 2, that will become positive 49 is equal to 49. Therefore, the roots of our given equation are positive negative 7. Let's have number 2. Find the roots of x squared minus 64 is equal to 0. So, so, ang gagawin natin dito, rewrite natin siya x squared minus 64 is equal to 0. And then, itong negative 64 na to, ito transfer natin siya sa right side. So, ang mangyayari, mag a ng 64 to both sides. So, x squared minus 64 plus 64 is equal to 0 plus 64. So, negative 64 plus 64 is 0. So, ang matitira na lang dito is x squared. And then, 0 plus 64 is 64. Now, extracting both sides. So, square root of x squared is x. Square root of 64 is positive negative 8. So, to check, using the given equation, x squared minus 64 is equal to 0. If x is positive 8, so, palitan natin siya, 8 squared minus 64 is equal to 0. What is 8 squared? That is 64. Minus 64 equals 0. 64 minus 64 is 0. Therefore, 0 equals 0. What about negative 8? x is equal to negative 8. So, negative 8 raised to 2 minus 64 is equal to 0. Negative 8 squared, that is 64. Minus 64 equals 0. So, 0 equals 0. So, ang ating roots is, oh, are 
positive and negative square root of 8. So, mahalaga na magkaroon tayo ng checking para malaman natin kung tama ba yung mga roots or naging solusyon natin. Next example, number 3, we have determine the roots of 6x squared plus 96 equals 0. So, again, we rewrite the given equation, 6x squared plus 96 equals 0. And then, itong 96 na to, kailangan makunta siya sa right side. So, ang gagawin natin, we subtract 96 to both sides. Okay? 96 minus 96 is 0. So, therefore, matitira lang is 6x squared. And then, equals 0 minus 96. 0 minus 96 is negative 96. And then, we divide the whole equation by 6. So, para matanggal yung numerical coefficient ng x squared. So, there, therefore, x squared is equal to negative 16. And then, extracting both sides. So, again, we cannot extract negative square root. Therefore, the given equation 6x squared plus 96 equals 0 has no solution. O, pwede rin naman, no real roots. So, example number 4, we have solve for the roots of 7x squared is equal to 567. So, again, we rewrite the given equation, 7x squared is equal to 567. And then, we divide both sides by 7. So, para matanggal po yung numerical coefficient. So, kapag numerical coefficient natin is 1, we don't need to divide both sides by 1. So, 7x squared divided by 7, that is x squared. 567 divided by 7 is 81. And then, we extract both sides. So, the square root of x squared is x. And then, square root of 81 is positive negative 9. So, let's check. So, 7x squared is equal to 567. So, una muna, uh, x is equal to positive 9. So, 7 times the value of x, 9 squared, is equal to 567. 9 times 9 is 81. So, 7 times 81 is equal to 567. If we multiply 7 by 81, the answer is 567. So, therefore, x equals 9 is correct. So, x equals ano naman? x equals negative 9. So, 7x squared is equal to 567. So, substitute natin yung x na equals negative 9. So, negative 9 squared is equal to 567. And then, 7 times the square of negative 9, that is positive 81, equals 567. Seven. If we multiply 7 and 81, we also get 567 equals 567. Therefore, the roots of 7x squared equals 567 are positive negative 9. So, let's have the next example. Our last example, we have solve for the roots of 4x squared minus 180 equals 0. So, we write 4x squared minus 180 equals 0. So, itong negative 180 na to, kailangan matanggal siya dito at madala siya sa right side. So, ang gagawin natin, i-add natin yung 180 to both sides. And then, 4x squared, negative 180 plus 180 is 0. So, equals 0 plus 180 is 180. And then, we divide the whole equation by 4. So, 4x squared divided by 4, that is x squared, equals 180 divided by 4, that is 45. And then, we extract both sides. So, sulat siya natin dito. Square root of x squared is x. And then, equals... 
positive negative square root of 45. So, 45 is not a perfect square. So, pero, pero meron siyang factor na perfect square and that is 9. So, pwede natin siyang isulat na ganito. x is equal to positive negative square root of 9 times 5. So, the square root of 9 is 3. So, our answer is x equals positive negative 3 square root of 5. So, let's check. So, if x is equal to 3 square root of 5, so magiging ganito siya, 4 times 3 square root of 5 squared minus 180 equals 0. So, ito munang nasa parenthesis. So, 3 squared, that is 9. Times uh, square root of 5 squared, mawawala yung kanyang radical symbol. So, ang sagot dito is, 45 minus 180 equals 0. 4 times 45, 180. Minus 180, that is 0. 0 equals 0. So, if x is negative 3 square root of 5, ganun dyan din naman. 4 times negative 3 square root of 5 squared minus 180 is equal to 0. Kasi pag ang negative, in-square siya, magiging positive. So, 4 times 45 minus 180 equals 0. 4 times 45 again, 180 minus 180 equals 0. So, 0 equals 0. So, therefore, the roots of our given equation are positive negative 3 square root of 5 kayo ng guide sa mga square roots, mga perfect squares. So, ayan, uh, yung mga perfect squares 1 to 50 naka-plash na dyan, nakalagay na dyan sa presentation. So, square root of 1 is equal to 1, square root of 4 is equal to 2, and so on, hanggang square root of 2,500 equals 50. So, mahalaga na alam natin yung mga perfect square para hindi tayo nahihirapan. So, after discussing solving quadratic equations by extracting the square roots, our next lesson will be solving quadratic equations by factoring. So, factoring, na-take up nyo na to nung grade 8 kayo. So, same process lang siya. Kaya lang dito, quadratic equation siya. So, equation siya. So, yun lang, sana may natutunan kayo.